Pandas is mainly used for machine learning in the form of data frames. Once we use Pandas functions to extract data from our test file or binary files, the data will be formed as a data frame. And Pandas further allow us to perform various data manipulation operations. Pandas provides various functions to combine um, this data frame. And the most commonly used methods are merge and concat. We can use the concat functions in Pandas to append either columns or rows from one data frames to another. So let's grab two data sets to see how this works. Here I have two data sets, I just call it um, DF left and DF right. So let's see what we have inside these um, two data sets. We have six samples in the left data set, and then we have seven samples in the right data set. So here you can see that um, in the six uh, in the in the in the left data frame we have the uh, we have the name of the stock, the symbol of the stock, and then uh, just few more parameters. And then on the right um, data frame we have the symbol, volume, turnover, and so and so. Uh, just um, to remind you that the symbols um, the, in these two data sets are different. Um, so we have uh, several common uh, symbols, say for example, uh, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. However, you can see that um, we have two, uh, two samples right here, six and 11, which are not appears, uh, which do not appear in the, in the right data frame. So let's see how we can use the concat functions to append the two data frames uh, together. So I just type in V and then stack. That means uh, vertically stacking and ED dot cat. have two objects. One is left and one is right. So we are we always have to provide the access to it. Um, zero means that we are going to vertically stacking these two pandas frame together. And I just shot it uh, with a false. That means we are not going to shot anything. So let's see the results of this uh, vertically concatenation. So here you can see that um, we just stack um, these two data frames together. However, uh, by using these um, concatenations, vertically concatenation functions, uh, you can see that the symbol right here, uh, because we, we have a common common name in these two data frames, so uh, this will automatically help it uh, this automatically help us to group these um, two data frames uh, with the same symbol, with the same column name together. Similarly, similarly, we can just change it to a horizontal stacking by passing one to the axis. However, when we stack horizontally, we want to make sure what we are doing uh, making sense. Just like what I mentioned, there are some uh, samples are not uh, are not the same um, under these um, two data frames. Say, for example, right right here we have to zero zero one zero zero two zero zero three. So they uh, uh, when we concatenate them together, zero zero one zero zero two zero zero three, they the market caps right here is correct. They concatenating. Um, these two data frames um, correctly. However, when you look down here, say for example, for the um, Hansen band 00011, uh, we, do not add, uh, we do not have any market cap uh, under, the, um, under the right table. So, so therefore the market cap right here is not actually um, the, the market cap for the um, for these, um, for these uh, 001111. So that creates a lot of, that creates some problems right here. And in order for us to avoid um, these problems, uh, we can use merge. In merge, we need to provide the merge key. And this merge key will help us to do some logical checking. 
And there are four types of drawn. Um, the first one is the inner drawn, which will return the intersections of the keys from, from the two data frame. So let's say, for example, right here, we have the inner merge, which is actually the inner drawn merge. And then we have the left equal to the left data frame, right equal to right data frame. And then we need to specific, specify the name, the column name. Say, for example, have, um, symbol is the common column name. So uh, left on means that um, we need to compare this symbol on the left table it to specify the right on as well. Also, just call it the symbols. That means that um, this uh, merge function will help us to check the logics in, in between this symbol in the left table and this symbol in the right table. So because this is the um, intersections of these two tables, you can see that the results only have four rows. That means we only have four common rows in these two data frame. That is um, uh, one, two, three, five here, and one, two, three, five right there. But sometimes we want to keep uh, either one of these table as our main table. So in order for us to do so, we can use um, use left drawn or right drawn to do that. So say for example, we can just provide how left, that means left joint. So here you can see that um, the, the left table is kept and then the right table is appended according to this symbol symbol names. So right now the, the logic um, is correct. Um, the other way it's uh, is that we can also use the right um, table as the main table. And then here you can see that um, we just um, keep this data set as the main table and then join the left table uh, according to the symbol. So you can see that the sample size are the same in this state in the result um, in the result and also this uh, right table. Sometimes we just want to uh, combine these two table all together but with the logical checking. So, and just change the how to alter. So you can see that the two table are combined together with the logical check. So this is the main reason why I like to use a merge instead of concat. So that the data frame is always logical. And that's all for these videos. Thank you for watching.